So you may be wondering, what does a doctor do? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna give you the four dirty secrets about my job as a gastroenterologist, and so you can get more information about what I do as a living. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. Yes, smash, smash, smash. Like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I'll put a link right here where you can get great tips and tricks just like this one. Gastroenterology, GI, yes, it is a dirty job. <coughs> Someone's gotta do it, okay. That's my joke of the day. Now, a lot of people ask me, hey, Dr. Islam, why did you want to be a GI doctor? What is your passion? Do you really like poop? Want to give you four dirty secrets? Not so dirty, but four secrets about gastroenterology. So you may not realize this, but a lot of people have gut issues. Yes, a lot of people do. And a lot of people don't realize that those issues can be fixed. There are millions of people that suffer from IBS, reflux, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, liver issues, pancreas issues, gallbladder issues, oh my goodness, all sorts of issues, hemorrhoid issues. Yes, everything, everywhere where your food goes, I, I go, go as, as well. well. And because of that, we see a lot of people who have so many issues going on with their gut and we're able to help them through a variety of ways. My approach obviously is try to do it as naturally as we can. Sometimes we need Western medicine. Sometimes we need a combination of the two, but in gastroenterology, we're able to help out a ton of people when it comes to their gut issues. The second secret is that there's a lot of non-GI issues that could be related to your gut. The microbiome is one of the most fascinating aspects of us. There are literally trillions and billions of small little bugs inside our gut, causing all sorts of problems and benefits to our body. So things outside the GI tract that we know could be related to the gut include acne, psoriasis, autoimmune disease, arthritis, lupus, Alzheimer's, dementia, sleep. We are finding more and more things outside the GI tract that are actually directly related into what is going on in our microbiome area. And these microbiomes have been with us for millions and millions of years, helping us, supporting us, but also if they're affected, can produce negative consequences like the diseases I talked about. We are finding fascinating entities of things that we did not think were related to the gut, but actually are directly caused by the changes in our gut microbiome. And because of that, when we affect the gut microbiome, we're able to fix a lot of the non-GI issues that are going on there. Hey, if you gotten value from this video, I would appreciate a like button and a comment down below. Number three, it's a lot of fun doing GI. Now, you may see me and think, man, this guy does deal with shit every single day. No, that's not true. We have a variety of things that we can take care of. We have clinic, we have procedures. It's a very cognitive demanding field because we're not just dealing with poop. We're dealing with everything, everything inside your body because your gut is affecting everything. And so not one single day do I see the same thing over and over again. I have one patient who's seen me for IBS. I have the next patient to see me for the liver. I have the next patient to see me for the hemorrhoids. I have the next patient to see me because of a polyp. I have another patient to see me because of gallbladder. It's such a variety of different things. And because of that, it's very, very exciting. Now, not to diss on all the other fields, but come on. The heart, come on. It's just one organ. It beats, that's it. Maybe it goes out of whack. Come on. What's the big deal about that? The kidneys, all they do is filter stuff. Come on, you look at your electrolytes, woohoo. I deal with so many different things. Yes, throwing some shade on those other fields, but that's okay because I deal with a lot of different conditions going on inside the body. Now the fourth dirty secret, and I've been alluding to this, is that we just don't deal with poop only. Yes, we'll deal with a lot of different things. You got pancreas issues? Come see me. You got hemorrhoid issues? I'm your man. You have problem swallowing? Right here, right here. You have a colon polyp? Boom! I'll fix that for you. You got poop issues? You know me, I'm your poop guru. I will help out as well. It's never a boring time. It's never a boring field. Every single day brings a variety of different things and I don't have to focus on one thing only. You got Crohn's? I'll fix you. you got GERD? Right here. 
I love it. These are four dirty little secrets about a gastroenterologist, what I do as a living. My question today for you guys, what questions do you have about a GI doctor or what I do? Comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks. Peace.